Pakistan's economy is facing financial instability marked by a growing debt burden and frequent reliance on external loans. Finance Minister Mohammad Aurangzeb recently highlighted ongoing negotiations with the IMF for a new $7 billion extended fund facility and the importance of loan rollovers from countries like China and Saudi Arabia. These loans provide temporary relief but don't fix the core economic issues. The IMF has delayed Pakistan's request, citing the need for a timely rollover of $12 billion in loans, leaving the country in a difficult financial position. Pakistan's borrowing plan for 2024-25 amounts to 32 trillion rupees, largely dependent on IMF approval and loan rollovers. This borrowing is needed to bridge the budget deficit and repay existing debts. Even if Pakistan secures the $7 billion loan from the IMF, it comes with conditions like cutting subsidies and reducing incentives for special economic zones. Critics argue that reliance on IMF loans and austerity measures have worsened poverty and inequality and may push Pakistan further into a debt trap. Immediate steps include rolling over loans and negotiating better terms with the IMF. Stabilizing the exchange rate to protect foreign reserves is also a priority. Long-term solutions are crucial. These include structural reforms like broadening the tax base, reforming energy and public sectors, and diversifying exports beyond textiles. Attracting foreign direct investment by improving political stability and infrastructure along with strengthening institutions through anti-corruption measures and better governance will help Pakistan achieve sustainable and economic growth and reduce its reliance on external borrowing. For more on this, read Dr. Ghulam Muhyiddin's piece on Business and Finance Weekly, linked in description.